Let's go ahead and take you straight into five things you need to know for today. The Flint City Council finally approving the 2025 fiscal budget during a special meeting on Wednesday. The vote coming two days after the council violated the city charter, which says a budget must be passed by the first Monday in June. Now they're facing some pushback from council members over errors. The council asking questions about funding and assessments for streetlights, waste management and police presence at meetings, calling on the city's chief financial officer to take note of the issues for next year. Nurses with Decision Genesis ratifying their contract with the hospital. Their union, Teamsters Local 332, announcing the results on Facebook of more than 600 nurses who voted 80% said yes. Get this, a tornado ripping through Livonia, leaving one child dead from a tree collapse. The tornado came down suddenly around 3.30, uprooting a tree, causing it to fall onto a home, crushing a mother and her two-year-old son. A local fire chief says they needed airbags in order to lift and remove the debris around them. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado touched down there, winds reportedly reaching up to 95 miles per hour. Bay City Commissioner Chris Gerard resigning from the Bay County Growth Alliance. This only a day after the Alliance explained its role in the demise of the State Theater. The longtime venue closed and filed for bankruptcy because of an $800,000 mortgage through the Growth Alliance. Gerard says that he's stepping down to help the community heal. And a beacon of rebirth in Detroit reopening today. For 75 years, Michigan Central Station was how many first arrived in the Motor City. But the iconic building closed in 1988 and fell into disrepair. Ford Motor Company bought the property in 2018 with plans to turn it around. And six years later, those plans are now a reality. Today's grand reopening comes with a sold out concert, including big names like Diana Ross, Big Sean and Jack White.